as in the case of the SAV, the sedan is still covered in camo. Actually, the X5 appears to only have the psychedelic wrap on, while the 3 er still packs some cladding. However, now that the G23 series has reached this development stage, we can easily notice some of its design features. For instance, both the front and rear ends seems to pack a more rounded appearance, and we still have to wait for an episode further along the striptease process to be sure of the exact styling use. The extremities of the sedan are clearly lower, with this being particularly obvious when it comes to the rear. Speaking of which, the rear window seems to have grown in size a bit compared to that of the current model. We've added some F30 photos from our review of the 2016 3 Series in the gallery, so you can easily compare the two. The extra practicality brought by that rear window should be just one of the extra features delivered by the cabin of the next Gen 3. While the rear legroom is expected to grow a bit, the automaker will increase perceived quality and here's to hoping BMW interiors will finally tie Audi and Mercedes-Benz ones. As for the G20 interior spy shots we showed you, the early development stage of the prototype means we can't trust them too much. As all future rear-wheel drive BMWs, the new 3 er will ride on the company's new car architecture, you know. The cluster architecture modular platform that debuted in the 2016-7 series. Aside from weight reduction and torsional stiffness increase benefits, the new platform will also allow for a better integration of hybrid powertrains. Moreover, the G20 generation should also see BMW presenting an all-electric 3 series, with the F33 series having received its mid-cycle revamp for the 2016 model year. The Bavarians will introduce the next three series next year.